Hey, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in Lamentum. A survival horror type game developed by Obscure Tales, published by Neon Doctrine, sorry, almost got that wrong there, and it's usually available for £13.74 slash $15.99, but was free with Games with Gold during the months of March and April 2023, so hopefully you managed to catch it then and free to free, free butter free. So we play as Victor Hartwell, who wants to save his wife from succumbing to the old Grimboss Reaper by heading to Grau Hill for a cure of sorts. But as it turns out, the cure is full of deadly stuff, creatures and weird horrory stuff going down. So uh, as for achievements, now most are quite straightforward. There are a few good story related ones talking to certain people, but we need to do four endings. Now, two of them are easy enough, but for the last two, you basically have to do certain things throughout the game. So you need to make sure to do exactly what I do when I say it, as I sound like Danny DeVito's character from Matilda there. <laughs> uh, so that includes like a few certain dialogue options to pick what enemies you have to kill, etc. And of course, I'll let you know when we get there. Otherwise, it's a good game, easy enough, enjoyable, and it'll take around two to three hours to complete. So with that being said, let's do it. And immediately what we're going to do when we click new game, we're going to put limited saves to no and difficulty to easy. And the reason we do this is because, of course, you'll get unlimited saves as opposed to the whole. Remember the whole Resident Evil thing there uh, where you could only save a couple of times throughout the game, uh, whichever Resident Evil game that was. But you know what I mean? Anyway, as we begin. Uh, it's a nice day. Nothing survivally or horrory is going to happen, but there is one mega important thing that we're going to do. You see something shimmering just on the floor here, just by the fountain? We need to make sure to pick this up. Now, to go into your inventory, you can either press the start button or you can just press the X button. Now, um, so, because what we need to do then, we need to uh, put the coin up and then press the A button to use the item. So make sure that you use the item with the fountain. That's very, very important for, uh, in fact, one of the endings and to grab one of the strange coins a lot later on. But you have to make sure to do that coin in there first as we go ahead and talk to this guy. Uh, but basically, the inventory works. We can now just head to the left, uh, have a little uh, shimmer and shine in the old bushes, take the rose. I'm glad that wasn't a perv, just looking at the bushes. That was just a rose. Then you're going to go ahead, speak to L lady friend. Ha ha ha. But again, uh, so the way the, the way the inventory works, this game sort of, the controls are uh, slightly a bit weird in this one. Uh, you'll get used to it, of course. But basically, every time you pick up an item, you get three sort of controller hotspots, as it were, with your inventory. So you can put something um, with the X button, the Y button, and the B button. So every time that you pick something up, um, you can either press, you will either press the X button to use something, the Y button to use something. When you press start, you'll go into your inventory and then you can move stuff about. So obviously, for instance, we're going to be putting what, uh, two of our weapons in and a lamp and some other stuff as well. But again, a little bit more on that later on. So uh, there are a whole bunch of notes uh, for having a look at some story stuff. You can have a look if you want to. Um, I, I'll have a look at a few, but really... We're just trying to blast out all these achievements, because that's what we are. So heading out the door, press the left bumper to sprint, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, he sprints a lot faster than most other games I've played. You go into this big double door room right here, and go ahead and speak to your darling wife, who is as ill as the pill as the chill that they beefed on her. Or if you just ignore that, she's just pretty roughly ill. So the lazy git can't even get out of bed and do stuff herself. So we got to do it for her. I'm just joking. No, she's really bad. So we're going to take Alyssa's medicine right there. Again, you'll either have the choice to say yes or no. Obviously, for the most part, what you'll be showing or what I'll be showing you is to say yes. We head into the doors on the right. Now, um, this is where we're going to start using the uh, inventory properly for the first time. So we're going to take the firewood here from the back. Now, to combine stuff, what we're going to do here, again, is if we press the start button, basically, we need to put the firewood in the oven, um, and then we can get the cup of boiling water. So it should already be in your inventory. So you can just press the Y button, 
and that will automatically put up the fire branch. Use it with the oven, use the item, press yes, of course, and then press the start button. Now, what you're going to do is, uh, as you can see, you've got two items only for the moment. So you're going to press the A button to select one item, and then you've got equip, look at, combine, and move. You're obviously going to combine them with the two, and that'll give you a hot cup of nice cup of brew. That'll, uh, well, that'll clear your illness right up, won't it? So what you can do then is just head back to the bedroom. There we go. As quickly as we can. I mean, we're in no rush at the minute because nothing's trying to kill us, which is always handy. Just press the A button and then uh, we'll have a depressing talk. Job done, mate. Nothing beats a depressing talk. And Jesus Christ, no matter, no wonder you're ill. Who the hell took your eyes, bruh? Jesus. Again, no music in this game from my side because I'm scared of being copyrighted and I can't make any, can't make that one pound. Uh, but anyway, interact with the door here. We will get our first achievement. Welcome to Grow Hill. This, uh, well, it does. They, they say that they took the info, uh, or the, ins the inspo, sorry, not the info, the inspiration from the sort of Resident Evil and Silent Hill series. So if things look certainly familiar to you, if you've played those games, um, yeah, that's where they got the inspo from. Uh, anyway, like I said, we, get, we can just keep smashing through the dialogue um, as we head to the left and go through these next set of double doors. If the uh, dialogue's going too slow for you, just go into options and set the text speed to fast. And that'll do, that'll do. Thank you, Lord Hug and Kiss. Uh, we'll see you soon. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head down. We are now going to head to the right. Uh, we're going to speak to this lady. Oh, well, who is our, supposed to be our uh, our wife? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, now we need to head back down. Back outside. Yeah, seems like a lovely place so far. Huh? Have a look in the carriage and it'll be the wedding ring that we can take. So again, press the A button a few times there to take the wedding ring. Head back inside. Then we can just head to the left. Now, it looks so lovely. I got the right set of stairs, by the way, here. So, go up the right set of stairs. All looks lovely for a minute, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you know, eh, being a survival horror game, it's all about to change. Uh, go straight up through the first door that you see here. Go to the right, and now your uh, missus is going to be like, Ooh, I'm a spooky ghost. Or, I changed into a white dress. Was she already in a white dress? I don't know. Well, her eyes disappeared anyway, so now she is totally off her nut, mate. So whatever was in that redding wing, <laughs> red, redding wing, wedding ring, I want them. Right, uh, head all the way into the darkness, which of course is not eerie or spooky at all. Head up towards the bed, and look at that. Somehow you're, <laughs> I mean, you're pretty fudged up there, Sien. And now we are going to play the game proper. So as you can see, what, are, what is around the screen is obviously red. That basically means whenever you get hit or you get slightly injured, what you can do is, now there's, I'm just going to call it a potion. So you pick up the potion. Now what you end up doing with the potion, if you want to get rid of the injuries or the wounds, um, you should be able to just press the X button and then press the right trigger in order to use it. So as long as you've got, to, so that is how you use the majority of things like weapons and get, uh, guns and the potions and stuff. Just press the right trigger as long as you have equipped it in your inventory. Uh, head out and go through the second door here. By the way, it's the right bumper to dodge as well. Go in the obviously not eerie bathtub full of blood. Uh, take the lockpick and we're out of there. Head to the next door on the left. And there is a... Again, an eerie crying little girl. So again, press the Y button. You should be able to press the Y button. Um, and that should bring up the lock pick. Press the A button there to use the item. Open it up and we get a half bottle of potion. Now, obviously, what we do normally is eventually we'll, um, as we take the key here on the left hand side, we'll obviously do a lot of combining uh, to make the half potions into a full potion. So, you know, but as long as we're playing on easy mode, 
genuinely, there's a lot of monsters as well. Like, this, the difference between easy and normal, I'll just quickly say as we open up the door here, there's a lot less monsters on easy mode than there is on normal or hard mode. Uh, here is one creature. We're going to quickly grab the doll and quickly get ourselves back out because we don't have any weapons yet. Uh, we'll also get the creature achievement as well. Uh, and of course, to be honest, that just looked like a big vag monster, didn't it? Uh, so will that's what they'll be called from now on. So head back through the door on the left. And now, again, what you can do, uh, you can either press the start to go into your inventory. Or you should be able to press the B button, I believe. Um... Because, again, because you picked it up, it'll automatically go into your B hotspot. That'll give the girl, the doll, she'll stop crying like the eerie crybaby witch from Left the uh, Left 4 Dead series. That was always a spooky one. Uh, don't go back in the room. That was a mistake. Sorry. So head down. We can now head. Uh, hello there, little girl. Would you like to tell me what's happening so I don't crap my pants anymore? No? Nope. Okay. Right. Head to the left, and we're going to take the map here. And we can now start heading down again. Left bumper to run. You'll automatically start pushing this box. You don't have to press any extra buttons or anything like that. But once it's pushed all the way down, we're going to head to the left. And we are going to take the jewelry box. Again, we'll be doing, as we head down on the left-hand side, we'll be doing a lot of, uh, we have to grab a lot of collectibles. Again, especially for certain endings. So head through the door on the left again. And on the left-hand side table is a broken blagon, blazing, <laughs> blagging my bowels across your face. Uh, and then if we have a look um, on one of these tables, there it is on the right-hand side. It is the lock pick, which we're going to take again. So start heading down. And then from here, head down again. And then where we're going to be is basically in the sort of main hall, uh, if you can remember. This is where the sort of main hall foyer of the Grau Hill. Uh, go all the way to the right there. And now what we can do is go to the right-hand side, just before the alley goes up there, into this room. And on the left-hand side, on the bottom, is, are the tongs. Tong, to tong, tong, tong. So you're going to grab that then. Again, there's a note there. By the way, every time you see a treasure chest and a sort of desk with notes on it, that's, that's your save station we'll come to in a little bit again. So head to the left down, in back into the main foyer, foyer, whatever you want to call it, heading all the way over to the left. There is a creature hanging about just up above, so there's nothing going to try and actually kill you just yet. Uh, head through these double doors and have a little conversation with, well, what? Actually, no, this is just a dying lady. So after the lady has finally deceased herself, we're going to take the lamp that she was holding. This will come in handy for later on. Then just go into the door on the left of old Deathness Lady into the kitcheny bit. Head straight up there. And as you can see in our inventory, press the A button there on the lock pick to equip it. Make sure to equip it. And then it's uh, on the bottom right corner. Then we can open it up and take the ammunition. That's what we've been doing a lot through this game as well is grabbing a lot of ammo. Again, go into your inventory, click on the tongs, press the A button twice there to equip it, then the A button again to use the item, and we can grab the heavy key. Uh, it doesn't seem that heavy, and it doesn't also seem on fire, which again, comes in handy for us. So, head to the left and down. Uh, this is kind of like a sort of safe space again. So, as you can see on the left there, there's a treasure chest with the save option. Again, we should have by now a bottle of ink, which is on our X button. But uh, we can press, every time we're up to this treasure chest, we can move items that we've got in our inventory into the treasure chest. So, um, and with the ink bottle, what you need to do is how you need to equip it. So if you ever want to save, you've got to put the ink bottle into your inventory, equip it, and then use it on the desk. That is how you save things, by the way. Uh, right, so again, because obviously we'll need, be needed to pick a few items up, I just popped a few things over right there. Uh, we're going to... Leave the ornament for now. We need to grab another three, actually. So we won't bother with that just for now. We will head back out. I was just having a little look around, sorry. And then we are going to go to the right past old deadness lady. Sorry, deadness lady. I'll I'll bury you later, mate. I'm trying to find a cure for me wife here, mate. So heading back out, go down. And then to the left. And... Right on the left here is a strange coin. That is the first out of 10 strange coins that we specifically need 
for the S ending. So again, make sure you have that first coin. Take the bottle, half bottle of potion there from the statue. So again, like I said, as we go up to the one, what was once locked door, go to the left and open up this door as well. So again, you should have one strange coin out of 10. Right, heading inside here, just go straight up as the creature, the vag monster just eating up, go through the door. Rotten meat, nothing wrong with a nice bit of rotten meat, mate. Well, it depends on the meat, I suppose. Uh, anyway, go up. Now, as you can see, these creatures don't move. There's only two that move now, but the rest don't actually bother um, throughout the rest of the game. So what you can do, uh, you can act we actually need the lamp on now. So we are going to move the... <laughs> Sorry, it did get a little bit confusing here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the, the lamp in the B uh, for the B button. So again... You can just automatically hit the B button to open up the lamp. Now, what these creatures do is if you get too close, as we take the salt, make sure to take the salt from the table. If you get too close, they uh, let out like a big... As we grab the ornament there from the table, it, it, they're kind of like, I don't know, just like things that try and attack you, sort of. Uh, but, you know, they're easy enough to avoid and everything anyway, so um, just don't get too close to them. Otherwise, you will get hurt. Uh, on the right here in the kitchen is the knife. So remember, we should have the ornament, the salt, and the knife. And what we're going to do is use the knife in the Y section. So as soon as you press the Y button, now you'll be able to get out your knife and then start attacking with the right trigger, which is exactly what we're going to do here. Press the right bumper to dodge, of course. So that's what I would do for the majority of this playthrough. Hit them once, dodge, hit them again, dodge, hit them again. That's just the easiest way for combat that I found. Right, heading to the right, hand up the door now. Yes, there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of craps going on. <sighs> oh, this place looks like a bit of a laboratory. Heading through up the door, heading through up the door. Here are some of these weird monsters again. Now, what you can do, if you sprint, now when you're close to enemies, basically, as we see there's one of these enemies, so again, he uh, chucks out some whips, so again, hit him, dodge, hit him, dodge. So just keep doing that a few times. But basically, if you keep sprinting next to any of these creatures, uh, you'll notice that the screen will fade darker as we take the half bottle of potion up here. And once it gets darker, basically Victor will run out of stamina. So this is why I'm just sort of hitting, I'm sort of spamming the left bumper. Rather, So as we keep heading to the right, we're going to grab the ornament from the dead person. And there is going to be another enemy, which will appear now. There it is. So make sure to kill this enemy. But, uh, so yeah, so when you are around enemies, uh, you know, quite a lot of enemies, if you continue to sprint, screen gets dark, Victor needs to, will run out of stamina, and he will stop for a moment. So take the lock pick here as well. Uh, so that is why I am just, just basically hitting, just spamming hitting the left bumper button. So he's sort of doing a hip scop and a bit of a hip, hip scop. I, mean, I meant a hop and skip. Um, so yeah. So for the majority, we can sprint, but when we're around enemies, just make sure to be hitting the left bumper. So we're going to pop a few items uh, into the treasure chest here. So we're going to move the ornament. We always keep a bottle of potion on us as well, just in case, uh, just in case we need it quickly. Uh, pop the strange coin in as well, and the other ornament, plus the heavy key as well. It's always worth it. Don't worry, you've pretty much got unlimited room in the treasure chest, which... You know, comes in mega handy once again. Ah, so hopefully we've started to get used to a little bit of the things now, the inventory, the way the combat uh, works and everything. I'll show you how to do the saves now. So again, make sure that the ink ball is in your inventory. Go to the desk and you can't just press the A button on it. You, you've you got to have it equipped. As you can see, I've got the lamp equipped. So go ahead, equip the ink bottle. And here we go. Now, I do advise saving sort of, you know, pretty much often, save often, and save in separate slots, just in case you somehow manage to miss a collectible. So uh, it's worth doing. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I highly recommend with the saves there. Put the ink bottle back, and then what we can do is just get out and start heading to the left again. Head down. No enemies. Again, one more thing I should say is, once you kill an enemy, um, you can run through that place. The enemies don't respawn, which is all... Fit. Uh, so go ahead and speak to this bra. 
Now, we don't have the rope yet, but if you somehow manage to get the rope, it is highly important that you do not give this guy the rope. So, so if somehow, again, that you might already manage to get it before, as we take the broken blazon again. So, if again, if you manage to get the rope, don't give him the rope. But again, we don't have it yet, so that's fine. So head down into this little bedroom. And there's a heart key chilling on the bed. <laughs> Whatever that's for. Kinky, kinky. Kinky, stinky. Uh, right, get your knife out. Go down. There's a creature in here to your right. So make sure to uh, slice the old vaginal monster. It just looks like a big vag, doesn't it? Sorry. I'm so sorry. You're going to probably hate me for that, but it's fine. Uh, take the half bottle of potion and head back up. And up again. And then we're going to go to the right. So what we also need now as we head up and through to the bathroom here, we also need it to collect the six teeth. So there is the first one is going to be in this bloodied sink. We'll just uh, wipe that off, no problem. Ich, probably got AIDS on it, but that's fine. And then if we go out and we're going to grab another half bottle of potion and head straight down. So that should be one strange coin and one tooth, which again, you can always check in your inventory. So head into the main foyer and go up the left staircase. And now we're going to cut the rope. So use the item on the rope. Keep your knife out because the creature, the old Vlagnal monster, will be out. So, uh, you know, slice him down. The old, <laughs> the old GW, the old GWV. Uh, now what you can do, uh, because we don't have enough uh, room in our inventory, we're just going to combine the potion. And then we can pick up the rope. Again, we're still not going to give it to the broski. That's just going to come in handy quite a bit later on. If you're playing on normal, um, yeah, we'll get more to that later. So, heading up through the door, go to the left door where deceased lady is, back into the kitchen, and have a nice little wander over to the right. Interact here with the, um, uh, get your lock pick out and interact with the chest. And what that's going to get us is another potion. We will be doing that a lot, by the way. So we'll be hopping into sort of different rooms. If it looks a bit pointless, I promise you it's not, because we need as much ammo and potion as we can get. Uh, make sure to kill the three-headed buffoon right here. Obviously, we'll get some more powerful weapons later on. Um, and then just head down back into our sort of safe room. Uh, so interact with the chest here. We're going to just uh, chuck a few things in our treasure chest for now. Uh, two potions, the rope, the tooth. And we are going to put the one other broken blazon over. And we're also going to put the jewelry box over as well. And then what we're going to do is do a little bit of combining. So press start when you're out of there. So we are going to combine the two broken blazons to make one, well, normal size blazon. And then we're going to use the key heart here with the jewelry box. What stuff can we get? Ah, it's just another ornament. Okay, well, that'll do. Now, though, we do have all, well, we got three ornaments and there's one on the table over on the right. So... Uh, what we're going to do first is head up and then head up again. And if we go to the left, we're going to take some ammo. And then what we can do is press the A button and now we can get the broken blazon to grab a gun. Now, the only time, especially if we're playing on easy, the only time that we really need any guns is um, for the boss fights. Because uh, there's only a couple of boss fights and they're easy enough, uh, but we don't really need it for anything else. So anyway, head back down into the left here, into our safe zone. We're going to pop all the ammunition just over. And we're going to pop the gun over as well. We don't need that just yet. And now we're going to pop all the ornaments over. So you should have three. And again, just make sure that you've still got one strange coin and one tooth. That's what you should be on. Head over to the right. Now we can grab the ornament. And we're actually going to get our next achievement. So have a look at the painting here on the, on the back. And we're going to get the a Forgotten Language achievement. So grab the third one. The sort of one that looks like a eyeball with a body. Then the left one and put that in the second slot. Then we're going to grab the fifth one. And we're going to put that in the third slot. And finally, we're going to grab the final one that's up. Pop that in the fifth and finale of the Slotteronies. And that's going to slap open the fire or slap down the fire. Booyah! I slap it down, boy. And uh, that'll do. So make sure to go ahead and grab the tongs before we head down. Uh, no deal if you miss it. We'll just come back up. But just make sure to grab the tongs first anyway, because we need them to get into a door. So let us head down. Spooky stuff. 
Now, there will be enemies in this area, so just be aware of that. Uh, but we're going to head to the right. Uh, having a... <laughs> damn. Terrible jail. Heading up through this first prison-looking door. And as we head to the left here, um, we can take the ammunition just off the box by the candle, get out your knife, and then slice open the way. Again, keep your knife on you because there will be some enemies. We are going to interact with the mechanism. So press yes, and then we're going to have a little conversation. Now, there is a specific dialogue option that we need, and uh, it, it's a special for achievement, and it's especially for the A ending as well. So when it comes up now, you have to choose I have not seen her. So make sure, highly important to choose I have not seen her. Again, we'll get an achievement here called uh, Lord Wesley, and plus, we needed to choose that option for the A ending that we're going to grab uh, at the end of the game. So once that's done, just make sure that unlocks. There it is. Lord Wesley. Oh, Wesley from Harry Potter. You know, that guy. Oh, that's Weasley, isn't it? Yeah, same thing. So head down. And what we could do now, there are babies. Weird babies with weird baby making noises, as you'll be able to hear. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, very spooky. You know what? Ba babies who make that noise in the middle of the night are even spooky as well. So, uh, grab the two. They can bite you with a big, fat, chunky teeth, which actually does draw blood. <clears throat> Excuse me, which actually does draw blood. Now we can use the tongs where we just murdered that second baby. Really shouldn't say it like that, should I? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, no. Now, there is a broken doll here on the right. Pretty sure it doesn't serve any purpose whatsoever for any achievements or endings. Uh, so you can not miss, you can miss that if you want. Head over to the left, use the tongs on them, and we can now grab the spiral key. Now, we can head back down. Again, whip out your uh, knife, because there's going to be another baby enemy up here. There it is. Oh, man, that, that noise. Again, like I said, in the middle of the night. Uh. Anyway, head to the right. There is another crybaby. I shouldn't... I, I'll try not to use the words as we go through the door. I'll try not to use the words knife the baby in the same sentence because, uh, you know, if somebody's watching this without realizing what the video is, they'll probably uh, try and have me arrested. So we can pop our lamp on, head to the right, and we're going to take the second strange coin. So that is the second strange coin that we should grab, so make sure to get that one. So now you should be on two strange coin and one tooth. Right, start heading up. Again, pop your knife out because there is going to be another enemy. There it is. The baby. So take care of the baby. Sort of just pop it down or whatever. Get rid of. Head to the left. Nice sort of hanging bodies, just chilling there. So uh, it's a great day to uh, be alive, I suppose. Uh, heading all the way to the left and back up to the ladder. We are getting out of this weird baby section. Right, um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to, well, if you are slightly injured, of course, it's always worth just getting either a half bottle of potion and uh, making yourself all better again, but we're going to pop the ammo over, the broken doll over, the strange coin, uh, the spiral key we are going to leave in our inventory. Again, with the, sp with the, um, uh, the, the teeth and the strange coins, you can just leave them in the treasure chest. They're literally not needed until the very... Literally the very end of the game. So go ahead and speak to Mary Mary. Quite contrary. How does your death grow, apparently? So, we'll see you later, Mary Mary. Quite contrary. We're going to head to the right and down. Back into the main foyer. Now, there's going to be three of these big three-headed douches. So here's the first one. So again, with the knife on easy mode, at least it's going to take four hits. Let's head down. There's going to be a second one that we are going to slaughter. Don't forget to bring your daughter to the slaughter. Good, good Iron Maiden classic. Uh, so there's the second one. There's going to be a third one here, just in the top right somewhere. And maybe not. Okay, so I think if you're playing on normal, there would have been a third one. So we're going to head to the left and head up because uh, we've now got the spiral key so we can go straight up. Uh, pop your lamp on 
and you can see on the top right on the, on the sort of chair, uh, I believe it's going to be some ammo or it's a potion. No, it's some ammunition. So take the ammunition. Again, whip your knife out. Always worth doing. And now we can head down. Um, no, no, that is it. We're just going to the left-hand side gate. Tonight. Sorry, I was waiting for that three-headed buffoon. So now we can go ahead and kill these creatures. Again, don't get too close, but just inch ever so slightly. They should only take one hit to die, so it's all good. Uh, they're just, you know, blob monsters. Basically me on a good day. Uh, head down to the spiral door. And, oh, we've got something small and dead. Um, but we can interact with the ladder to go down. Head to the left. And what you're going to do is grab the fire poker. And that is going to be a bit, a bit more of an upgrade than the knife. So we can move the fire poker into our Y slot. And we can head back up to the left ladder. Uh, interact with the crank so we can take that one. Again, we're going to need that for the Lord Wesley fight. And as we head to the right, spooky stuff's going on. Ah! Ah! And the ladder we once knew is not there. We once knew is not there. Uh, so, head to the right, grab the ammo here from the top of the box. Keep continuing to the right and up. And there's going to be like a weird spider monster. There's another tooth here. So, make sure to highly important to grab that tooth. That should be two each. But keep heading. There it is. Look, so that'll whap out some kind of... I don't bloody know what the hell that is. Uh, but two pokes with the fire poker should get it dead. But again, remember, as I said, hit, then dodge, hit, then dodge. There's going to be another baby as well. There it is. So we're just going to stick the fire poker where the... <laughs> straight in the baby's head. Eesh. Feels weird for saying that. Bottle of potion there as well, which if you did get hit by the big slimy tongue monster, uh, it's worth just getting that down your neck. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, so go over to the right, uh, a little bit of conversation is going to happen. Plus, if you didn't notice, we got the one step down achievement as well. Fit mate. Right, so head back up again. Remember, like I said, when you kill an enemy, that enemy stays dead. So... Uh, that's why we try and kill as many as we can, so it just makes it easier for later on. So head all the way to the left, have spooky stuff happen. Grim Repos, oh no! But that'll get us the uh, ladder back for us on the right-hand side. There we go, so let's pop out now. Let's, uh, we'll start pooping them, huh? Let's start pooping our pants. Right, whap out your fire poker. There's an enemy on the left, so that should always be there. Now again, if you play on easy mode the same as me, the enemies should be the same as they are for you on screen. Again, if you're playing on normal mode, you'll get a few more enemies. So just keep that in mind. Head all the way up and then down the sort of back into the main foyer. And then we're going to head to the left. All the way to the left onto the double doors. Onto through the double doors even. Um, head uh, left again. And this time we are going to go down into our safe room. Ah, the safeness. We let, we're just going to chill here. Nothing's going to kill us. So what we can do, pop our ammunition over. Uh, we can pop the knife over. We literally don't need that now. Again, remember, you should be on two strange coins and two strange uh, two teeth. Again, with some of the teeth and the coins, they are put in positions where you have to grab them at that point because you cannot go back to them. And again, I will let you know that the, the last tooth we grabbed was uh, one of those positions, by the way. So that's why we had to grab that then. Uh, that's why I also say about saving regularly and in different slots, just in case you end up missing a tooth or a strange coin or something like that. Uh, so I, I end up using most of the slots, most of the save slots, I think, just in case, because you never, never know. Right, so anyway, head to the right. We're going to head back down the fireplace for some reason, even though we crapped them first. But actually, there's a bigger reason this time. Now we are actually going to be fighting Lord Wesley. Turns into a big spider thing. So head to the right. Go down. He's easy enough to kill, just as long as you're doing the sort of stab, dodge, stab, dodge technique. And that's also why we saved it as well, by the way. Um, 
Because again, if you don't feel confident, it's always worth doing that. So again, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, hit and dodge. And the spider with the genital wart on his bum will uh, succumb after about five or six hits. Easy enough, that one. Uh, job done. So whip out the crank and use the item. So there you go, that's the first boss fight done. Again, generally the boss fights in this game are easy enough, especially if you are playing on easy, so you can't complain. Head to the left to get a half bottle of potion. And again, if you did get hit and if you do, if you do need it, that's fine. Use it because we'll be grabbing a lot of potions throughout the game. So as we head uh, through the door, as you can see, we are into the Broski, Lord Wesley's office or Lord Crinklebottom's office, whatever his name was. Head through the double doors to the top right. And what we can do now is uh, in the top left hand corner, we can pop back down the ladder. Head into the right. <laughs> More enemies. Uh, this time it's the old Wagonal monster, the old Vigier monster with blood seeping out of it. Uh, uh, we'll call him the Tom Monsters, is it? Time of the month. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we'll call him the Tom Monsters. Anyway, head uh, up, up the ladder into this nicely decorated room. Again, here's another save section if you want to save. If Again, um, if you want to do that, if you're feeling always a bit sort of insecure or not that confident, uh, we just pop the crank back in because we don't really need that. In fact, we don't need it anymore. Uh, heading out, and now we're into the library section. Alyssa! No! I mean, if you were that desperate to rescue him, you'd sort of just climb over the fence, wouldn't you? Climb on the statues, climb up on the fence, jump over, job done. Anyway, uh, take the map and then head to the left. Don't worry about the statues, they're not like spooky mannequins that move every time and try to kill you as you're not looking head down into the left into these next double doors and then the i key there is on the left head out head to the right and up and then basically what we're going to do is uh just head out of this little section now so head back out again we will be coming back here later so near panic bother or worry um, into the down, into the down, well, you know what I mean, so we can now open the key that we just got to basically enter the main foyer again, uh, but of course we'll need that later on, so heading to the top right, into the next double doors, and whoa, more spooky stuff, we're going to grab the fire poker, because another three-headed buffoonery is around, so again, hit dodge, hit dodge, and then head up, and go through this next door that we can now unlock. Wow. Now we are into the garden. There's lots of stuff that will um, be trying to kill us, as usual, later on. But for now, we're going to speak to Lord Clayton, plus get the Lord Clayton achievement. And we wait, and we wait, and we ta -da! Lord Clayton's done. So we're going to head up through this next bit of gate right here. Now, with these ones, all you got to do, it'll, these statues will just keep turning and emit a bit of electricity. So you just got to wait until it goes past, and you can fly past. Now, they don't actually go all the way. So, you know, um, all the way to the wall as we take the gear from the left. That'll stop the statues. Um, so, yeah, so you can probably, they don't reach all the way to the other side of the wall, is what I was trying to say there. So that'll come in handy for the next lot that we got to do. Uh, so now we can head back down. And again, especially a lot later on in the game, we'll be doing a lot of backtracking and back and forth in and forth back in, track back in, forth back in, tracking, cracking. Uh, head to the left down, back into the main foyer. And then all the way down again to the right. And going up into the library, the lib, the library room, because I know that'll just annoy some people if I keep calling it the library. Uh, so head uh, to the left, back into the big main weird statue room. Uh, oh, that's like me voice. <laughs> Those faces look like me after doing voiceover guides for like four, five, six hour guides. 
Uh, so now what we're going to do, uh, make sure to equip the gear. We're going to put it in. And of course, with that, the statues are now going to start going fast. So for the most part, you can probably just run straight past them. But if you want to be careful and take your time, obviously it's worth doing that one. So we're actually going to be heading all the way to the right now as I get jabbed in the, <laughs> jabbed in the abdomen. Um, into this room, to the left there is some ammunition, and that's all we came into that room for. So as you can see, the, the sparks or whatever they are are quite short, so you can pretty much just stick with the uh, stick with the wall, you won't get hit. Uh, head up into the next door again. Uh, we did already visit this room, but we're now going to take the key that we just seen and the map. So top right hand corner was the key, and then on the settee or the chair is the map, so make sure to be taking those. Uh, now we're just going to get out of this room. This is the only time that we're going to uh, see these statues. So uh, if you get jabbed twice, it's okay. You don't even get hit. So back into the library room. <laughs> to the top right hand corner. And we are into this new room. Open up the treasure chest and we're just going to stick a couple of things over. The key. Um, the ammunition, which you don't need. We are going to grab the ink. Again, if you want to make a save. It's always worth doing. If you're confident enough to just crack on, then be my guest. Um, but again, I'm kind of paranoid. But we are keeping the leaf key. So make sure to keep the leaf key. So head back into the big library room. Back down into the main foyer. Now, again, we kill those three creatures or two creatures or whatever. So you'll always be able to run through here. near problemo. Head through the double gated doors. Or the gated doors. Now we can go into this room for the first time, because again, we now have the key. Oh, holy crap! That's, uh, <laughs> well, that's an unfortunate way to uh, leave some tomato ketchup. Ew, that's not tomato ketchup. Uh, anyway, in this room, we're just grabbing the potion there from the top left, the half bottle of potion. We'll leave the uh, tomato ketchup, which isn't really ketchup, alone. Head down, past the spiral door, past this next door, and we can finally enter this door on the right, bottom right or whatever, for the first time. Right, uh, head down, we're going to take another half bottle of uh, potion. And there's a note there as well, if you want to read it. To the right is some vitriol oil, which we need for the story. So that one is needed, that oil. Uh, heading back up and going back sort of down the sort of bottom door to go back into the main foyer here. Heading left and heading all the way left. That was a Scooby-Doo run and a half then, wasn't it? Uh, right, <clears throat> excuse me. Go to the left and head up, uh, ignoring that sort of octopus dead thing on the ground. Now we can head outside for the first time. And near lots of rain. And rain always means trouble. So as we head to the right, there's going to be an enemy here. This thing will just try to attack you, just give you the old uh, melee head with his big spiky head. So as usual, uh, hit and dodge, hit and dodge. Uh, potion by the tree, make sure to pick that one up, and then we can head in this little abandoned looking building. Uh, we're going to go ahead... Go to the, the right, we're going to pop uh, three of those potions away. Uh, we're always going to keep one on us, and yes, just basically get rid of everything except an extra bottle of potion. Make sure to grab the shovel, and then what we're going to do, we're actually going to put the shovel, uh, in case you didn't see it, sorry, that was very quick. Uh, we're going to put the shovel in the B button, so or equip it. Uh, whichever one you do, make sure that the shovel is equipped. Heading over to the left by these boxes, you should always find the strong water. Again, that is needed for uh, some story progression. So sprint over to the left, head back in. We're going to keep the shovel, by the way, because it's going to come in handy later on. Open up the treasure chest, and for now, we are just going to get rid of the shovel, get rid of the water. We are not needing said items yet. Ah... Right, heading up. Now, this is crawling with monsters, some of whom we can run past, uh, some which we can't. But again, obviously, what you're going to do, because there's a lot of monsters about, we're not just going to be sprinting past them. You're going to be doing the whole tapping the left bumper button. So you're doing a sort of, you know, a sort of half run and jump, kind of like you got a bad limp or something in the leg. Or as if a, you know, mosquito was bitten your ankle and you're like, ha, 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 ha. 
Anyway, speak to Broski here. Again, also another very important dialogue. Make sure that you are choosing, no, sorry, I am looking for my wife. Very important dialogue to get another A, and to get the A ending later on. So, no, sorry, I am looking for my wife. And that will, we will be waiting together. That sounds cropey. So, as long as you said that dialogue there, that's all good. Uh, watch out for the pumpkins. They emit a bit of gas, purple gas for your ass. And we all know... Uh, purple gas for your bum is not good. Uh, we're just going to keep heading to the left and go down to head through this gate. And we head to more outside. Uh, so head, it's kind of like a little maze section. Uh, from here, we're going to head up. There's the old purple gracias. Head to the right and we are going to grab some ammunition. And then head to the left. Eventually, there we go. We're going to keep going. There it is. Here it is. Keep heading left, and by the statue here, you're going to find a half bottle of potion. Now, what... I mean, what you could do, you could sprint past the enemies, and then before the screen gets too dark, uh, just stop and then walk slightly, um, but it's completely up to you, uh, whichever way you want to do it. So we can just do the whole mosquito ankle, ankle bite in run if you want. Uh, but we're going to keep heading down. So just keep heading down past the pumpkin, uh, past this statue here, go to the left. Uh, there is going to be an enemy here. You can dodge them, uh, or you can just kill them. It's completely up to you. But just keep heading to the left. They will still continue to follow you, by the way, so just be aware of that. All the way to the left. As you can see, we've got a wall. There's a statue. There's a pumpkin. Purple Gracias pumpkin. And right by this big dragon statue, somewhere is going to be another tooth. So make sure to pick up this tooth here. And then we can crack on. Now, if you do miss this tooth, you can just come back later on because uh, obviously this garden will always be here. But obviously, for time's sake, pick up the tooth and then start heading up. By this lamppost here is a half bottle of potion. Go away, monsters. I not like you. Uh, heading up and just go through the gate again. And you think it's over? Bruh, it's never over. Uh... Weird big chunky snail thing on the left. Uh, we'll just ignore her for now and head down into this first gate that we see. And, oh, well, this is nice. This is a nice bit of respite, isn't it? Uh, so make sure to put in the code. The code is 44213. So 4213. Take the axe. That's an even better weapon. Uh, so it's 4213. And then what we can do is move the fire poker away, the tooth, uh, a couple of the potions, and we'll just have the axe in the Y section. Whoop there. M missed that one. So put the axe in the Y button or whatever's more comfortable for you. And we just got a couple of potions in there as well. So again, if you want to make a save again, uh, it's always worth doing. Scribble, scribble. Nibble, nibble. Nipple, nipple. Uh, right, so once we're all done with that section, we've had a bit of a respite and a breather. Let's head back out. Uh, we can keep heading to the right. Uh, it, that guy with the, the things on his back does take a big, big giant swipe, so be careful. Uh, heading up. Now, this part, now the reason, actually, why we have saved it is because this next part, if you die, if you get hit by the spice, you will die pretty much straight away. Now, um, it's easy enough, but obviously, now, what you can see there is um, the floor has holes in them. That's obviously, if you go on that, that spikes. So what you need to do is be very, very careful because where I was trying to concentrate and not getting hit by these long caterpillar wieners, um, I accidentally went on the spikes twice. So just be careful with that one. Uh, otherwise, it's easy enough. It's literally just a case of waiting until it goes up, then run to the next part. Just keep heading all the way to the right for now. Again, trying to avoid the spikes, obviously. And once we have the crown, you have to go back the same way. So again, just be very, very careful. Otherwise, you'll have to start again from your last load slot. Mm. 
No, oh my God. Thank God for that. Because, yeah, I literally died twice by my own silly behavior on that one. Uh, so, thankfully, that's done. And now we can just head all the way back to the left and then back through the gate since we now have the Royal Crown since uh, Queen Elizabeth's sad passing, of course. So head straight down through the gate. Again, there's going to be some enemies here, so let us be careful. Uh, but just keep heading to the right for now. Another important item here to pick up as well. So after you reach all these items, uh, writing, make sure to pick up the golden moth before heading down. There's another enemy, so be careful. And straight down here. Right into some more gardens, apparently. Oh, in fact, that's the end of this garden. Thank God. So we can head all the way down, and we're pretty much done with this section for now, but we will be back later. Dun, dun, dun. Right, so, uh, back into the safety room, or the safety zone, head all the way down. And back into the main foyer, and then we're just going to go into the next gates on the right. Uh, that's a nice body with some flies chilling around it. Tasty protein, as it were. So head all the way to the right. And into this room, we are going to just get rid, for now, the crown. Uh, so there you go. She, by the way, you should have two strange coins and three teeth at the minute. So that's what you should be on. Um, and what we are doing, what we're looking for. We're looking for the oil, the water. So we need the salt, the oil, and the water. Very important because as we go down to the bottom left, we are doing a little science experiment. So grab the salt. Don't pop it up your nose. Then the oil. Then uh, interact with the Bunsen burner thing. Then the stirrer. And then you can put the oil in uh, the water in the oil and then grab the last item right there. And we can make sure to take it as well. So make sure to take the Aquaregia. Now combine that then with the golden moth and that'll give us the key decorated with the moon. Yeah. Job done, mate. Right. So head back down uh, again. If you want to get rid of some of your um, lesser known. Ah, oh, man, we're doing this again. Uh, so there's ammunition right there, so make sure to grab that. There's going to be some enemies here on the left, so let's head uh, very carefully. Again, if, you, if you'd if rather just use your lamp and then switch over, then that's fine. But there's a baby here, so stick an axe to the baby's head. Oh, man. Uh, and one of these uh, blob creatures, which again looks like me on a very good day. Just chilling in the nude, watching Netflix and stuff. Uh, or making guides for you people. Although that's an image you want to see. Me in the nude, uh, creating guides. Uh, take the potion here, and then we can start heading up. By the way, I'm not in the nude as I'm video recording this. It's too damn cold. Britain sucks. Uh, for the weather, anyway. So head to the left, and then we're going to head up. Into the spookiness again. And as we can see right here, we can get some more ammunition. So make sure to grab the ammo. And right here again is the other tooth. So that's this should be a fourth tooth. And we need to be grabbing this now because there's no way back later on. So make sure to grab that fourth tooth in the top left hand corner. Heading to the right. Kill the um, undead. Then take the bot half bottle of potion. Go back up. And of course to the right. And then we are into this room with sad little girl with bleeding eyes. Jesus. Mate, y'all need to nip to the doctors, y'all. Sadly, no achievement this time around, but that's fine, just fine. That's fine. So we can head down, uh, there is spooky girl noises, so we'll just ignore the spookiness, head all the way down, to the right, and down again, to the right. Ugh, Jesus, man, it's just blech. But we are going to get an achievement here, um, the My Dear Magda achievement. So once we take the Amber Medallion, or once we get rid of some crap out of our inventory, combine some crap or drink some crap, do something with the crap, grab the amber medallion, and that is where you'll get the... My dear Magda. So it just sounds like Mo, doesn't it? Calling Marge Midge. Oh, Magda. 
Um, <laughs> so after we've got that, head down into the right. Uh, we'll grab a potion if you can. There is a treasure chest on the left hand side, which is what we'll be just using. So we are going to be needing to do stuff uh, because we are going to be fighting Lord Clayton. Now, this is the first time that we're going to be using the gun. So we need the gun. We need some ammo. We are going to save the game here as well. Uh, importantly, just in case, again, that you're feeling a bit unconfident if you don't think you can beat him. I mean, he's easy enough. It's literally just running around and then shooting him, but uh, we'll have a little look. So make sure that we've got the ammo. We've got some ammunition. We've got some guns. Um, and that we have at least another two potions. So you'll obviously always have the one potion there in the X button sort of hotspot. Um, but make sure that you've got another two potions. Uh, so again, what we're going to do then, we'll also move the... The, the gun into our B slot so you can quickly snatch between or quickly switch snatch quickly switch between your melee weapon and your gun so once that is done game is saved you've got your gun you've got your ammo again make sure to put your gun in your B spot <laughs> B spot go behind the statue to interact with the half bottle of potion and interact with Clayton the boss fight is as we enter the gates up above B spot. That was actually unintentional for a change. So, very important. When the cutscene ends, uh, Clayton here is going to be a monster and he's going to be right on you. So what you need to do is immediately run away, press the Y button, and then you need to stab one of the bodies. So now, run up. Just keep running up, make sure you've got the axe ready. Now hit one of these corpses, that'll stun the boss. What you do is press the B button. You need to press the left trigger to aim and the right trigger to shoot. So the first two times you're gonna see me not do that because I'm an idiot, pretty effectively. So head down, hit this next corp, corpse, get your gun out. Again, you need to aim with the right stick, left trigger and right trigger to shoot. So aim, aim with left trigger, um, I'm just doing some, com well, I'm not doing combining. I was just being extremely stupid. Um, <laughs> so, so that's what you do then. So you aim, as you can see, with the, where the little red reticle is. So hit that. Left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot, right stick to sort of look around. And that is all you're going to be doing for about three or five times. Now, again, remember, when the enemy is close, the screen will start fading to black. So you may have to do your um, sort of limping jog, as it were. But you're just going to keep hitting these same three corpses, uh, shooting the boss, and that'll do him eventually. So again, after about five or six times, jobs, your nans, your good ends. Yeah, 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 yeah. We win, bro. We win. So that's the second boss fight already done. See, told you it was nice and easy. Um, yeah. So that is how you do Lord Clayton. I think there's only one other time that we're going to use the gun, and that is for the very end. But for now, what we're going to do then, we're just going to have a little look around. There's a couple of items, some potions and some ammunition to grab. Uh, now, if you're wondering what these spooky noises are, they are literally just these corpses. So, uh, you know, no one's trying to get after you so far. Look at that, almost an hour in already. Tja, time flies when you're having scary poop pants filled fun, right? Right. Um, so, yeah, so so that's why I was just sort of walking around there. I was just uh, having a look, seeing if there was anything around. But you should be able to grab some ammo by a tree, that half potion. Uh, which we just grabbed, head right past this statue and down. Um, you're going to see this little cross. So go to the right of this, past this statue, down, and then up. 
all the way to the right hand side and all it is is just for some ammunition which again will come in handy depending on how much ammo you just used for the lord clayton fight hopefully you didn't use that many though otherwise we can head all the way to the top right hand corner and end this section um, but there's no respite not really enemies still trying to kick your ass Make sure to take the thick branch here from in between the trees as well. So again, just double check that you've got them uh, or that you've got that. So that is the thick branch because that is going to come in handy once again a little later on. Head to the top left to get out of here and into more garden. Uh, but this is a path. This is a specific path that you need to follow. Otherwise, you will, as you know, die. And since the last save that we had was before we faced Lord Clayton... Um, we're going to need to be very careful. So just take the literally the same path that I do here. So hopefully that was sort of well paced and slow enough for you that you could uh, follow along. Apologies though if it was a bit fast. Um, Righto, we need the skull, but our inventory is full. That's a shame. Luckily we can just combine some items, which we're going to do. Uh, now, what you can do and what I found after replaying this section a few times, you can just run here and the trap will always miss you. Uh, so basically what I think the game wanted you to do was to go across the same pattern again get through to the other side safely but every time i went through there the arrows completely missed me so just uh should, hopefully it should be fine for you as well head to the right back past the trees and down and here we are back into more gardens there is some more enemies for us to kill <gasps> bury yourself you big goat and not a good goat either uh head to the left and what you're going to see is another strange coin so just behind this tree again they are very well hidden, um, but if you are needing, in fact, we can't pick it up because our inventory is full, so drink a potion or something. I should have drunk the half one, but there you go. That's my stupidity coming through again. Uh, just make sure, though, that you have picked up that strange coin, and these are the items. Those are the items there that you should be on uh, pretty much the same as me. Uh, take the ammunition. There's the one-legged grass head thing. Kind of look like... Uh, that's basically Oddish's new evolution from Pokemon. Head down, and we're going to see some more purple grassy-ass pumpkins. There is going to be some more enemies chasing us, like the snail, the three-headed Mario plants. We can just ignore all them and head straight down. Thank God. Uh, into this next part of the garden. Uh, on the bench here is some ammunition. Uh, we can pretty much just ignore the enemies now uh, in the garden. So we can just keep nipping to the left and down. And into the gate, and voila, back into the safetyness now, the safety zone. Uh, head through the door there immediately on your left, and we're going to get rid of some treasure chest items. The gun, the strange coin, the ammunition, one of the potions, the skull, and the thick branch for now. Uh, make sure to put your lamp back into the B section for now, because we will come back for that. Again, if you want to save the game, um, which, like, as I said, I do recommend, grab the moon key as well, and a, another half potion as well. So, after all the faff is done, let's get out. There's going to be a vage monster who's going to appear out of the floor. This doesn't happen all too many times, though, so don't panic. Uh, you can kill him with one swing of the axe. One swing and a miss. So back into the main foyer then. What we're going to do now is head to the left, go up and to the right sort of staircase. And we're going to head right past up all the boxes and stuff. And into the first moon door, which we can go in for, again, the very first time. It's the very first time. Uh, so move the box out of the way get the hell out of the way box we can grab the ammunition there from the left box and uh, sneak through the hole in the wall to get outside there's going to be some zoo bats now so make sure to quickly get your axe out and whack him one from the right and there's going to be another two more that will attack you as well here's one that's going to come from above i think yes there he is 
so uh, that's the new Zubat for the new Pokemon games, I'll just say. There is going to be one more. I think he comes from the bottom, I believe. Or no one actually comes from anywhere. So we can just head through the next crackle in the wall. Head through the double doors, or the only door. And on the left is a Vage monster. And there's also going to be a three-headed douche monster as well. I don't know why, I don't know where I got that name from, but uh, I think it's quite clever. Uh, anyway, from here then, what you could do is just go through the doors. Basically, that we more or less just came through. Oh, no, it's not the ones we came through. Uh, interact with the chest. We can just get rid of some of the ammo. Uh, and that'll do for now. Just to always make some space. It's always nice. Uh, grab the half bottle of potion. Oh, in fact, you know what? Sorry, I just realized I should have grabbed the potion first. Then come back. So I do apologize. That was a bit of a stupid back and forth right there. Um... Uh, so what we're going to grab next, just make sure then again, like I said, you've got three strange coins and four teeth. That is exactly what you should be on by now. Uh, otherwise, we can head through the crack in the wall over to the right. Oh, there's the zoo bat. Or the gold bat. Or the crap bat. Oh, that's a good one. We'll call him crap bat. Right, uh, heading back down. And that's all good for now. So we can just head back down once more. And we're going to go to the left-hand side staircase. And there's going to be a three-headed douche monster plus um, the the blob. The me on a good day blob. That's the noise I make when I try and stand up now with my back pains and stuff. Uh, so um, what we're going to do after we've killed all the monsters there, we're going to go through the next moon door here on the right. And we're going to go straight through the old crackle in the wall. So who's putting cracks in my wall? Uh, head to the left. Going to be another Vage monster. And head through the door on the sort of right between the two there to go into this room. Uh, interact with the chest. We can now actually get rid of the moon key. We don't need that. We've opened up all the moon doors. Grab the amber heart necklace. And we'll start doing all that jasmagoni with the jasmagoni goni. Head to the right into the next door. And uh, we've got a code. Uh, so the code for this one is going to be 331 and 2. So 3312, that's the code. That'll get, that'll get you the uh, musket shotgun, which we don't actually use at all. So, hey, good stuff. Right, three-headed douche monster to kill. And when we go into this room here on the top right hand door, there's going to be a new enemy. If you are in, in his direct line of sight, he will whap his tongue out at you. And he's got a pretty long tongue. This is Licker Tongue. Um, and he'll try and hit you like that. So this one's a bit annoying. He actually annoyed the crap out of me. One of my worst monsters. Uh, and obviously he'll try and swing for you. So again, it's just a case of hit, dodge, hit and dodge. Go over to the right there to grab some ammunition before we are going to head through the very left-hand side door out of the three. And once we are here, go to the left again, or straight up, whichever one. We need to grab the ammo anyway. And I believe, I think it's a note, but it's not. It's the Mask of Misfortune, which we need, of course, for story-related stuff. So grab the mask, grab the ammo, go through to the door on your right, into the pooiest black bathtub, Oh, man, you just stuck your hand in blood poo. <laughs> just for a half bottle of potion. And you got to drink it as well. <clears throat> Head through the next door on the right. And, ooh, it's a half-made bed. Uh, but what we're going to do, <laughs> interact with the picture, grab the amber necklace, put it on the picture painting. And if you think it's anything good, it's a, just a letter. So somebody hid that for a letter. Thank you, Edward Steinrot. Or Ballrot. Uh, you didn't need to interact with the coffin there. That was just me interacting with it because I did. Now, there is going to be, I believe, some more bats chilling around in just a moment. Right after we interact with these bras. Oh, 
you people are nuts. I'm getting the hell out of here. So head to the left. Um, before heading up, we're going to go through these gates into this sort of master bedroom. Uh, now, a couple of things to grab here. First things first, on the chest, we'll grab some ammunition. To the bottom right corner, we're going to grab the half bottle of potion. And to the top right is important. We need to be grabbing this strange coin. If your inventory is full, um, just go ahead and either combine a potion or uh, drink one, whatever. But make sure to grab the next strange coin right here. So very important. Make sure to grab that. So after that one is done, we can now head down. And in this room, if you are playing on normal difficulty, there is quite a... It's not so difficult, but there is a monster in here which you'll need to kill. I think there might be two, actually. Otherwise, if you're playing on easy like me, there's nothing in there, and we could just go straight through out into the next door on our right. Uh, interact with the treasure chest, which is going to get rid of some items. So the strange coin, the ammo, the gun, uh, one of the potions, and the mask of misfortune, the old chunky nose. Uh, again, if you want to make a save, be my guest. Be my chicken breast guest. Head back to the door on the left. And as I said, we can just keep heading uh, to the left outside. No, sorry, I thought there was a potion there or something. There's not. We already grabbed it. And straight back out the window. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go straight up. Ah! Oh. Straight up. Get your axe ready. We've got a few things to kill. So as we head up and go to the right, bats are going to start appearing. One from straight in front of us, plus the old beige monster. And as we go to the right and go up, more bats are going to appear. One's going to appear from our left. Oh, as we go to the right, sorry. We go to the right here, then go up again. And there's going to be a bat, which will come from the... No, oh, come from behind, you sneaky bat. Plus one straight in front of us out of the window, more or less. Uh, grab the half bottle of potion, and then you can pop on your lamp, and once again, head to the left. Go down, you can't obviously go over the holes, even though there's plenty of room around, but there we go. Um, keep heading to the left, we are going to be attacked, there he is, the old Wagner monster. Oh, the old Tom, sorry, we are going to call him Tom monsters, weren't we? Tom monsters. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Head down, past this green thing, there's going to be another bat around here, there he is. Ah, you son of a crap bat. Uh, keep heading to the left. And now we can hear some music. But before we go and interact with the music, head up. There is going to be another crap bat up here somewhere. Just as we get around the corner. Oh, well, it's Tom first, the Tom monster. Come in. He's here somewhere. Ah, here we go. And there he is, straight in front of us. Eh, yeah, crap bat. Stop it. Stop using supersonic on me, bruh. Right, now we can actually head through the gate. And this is a room which has mm, pretty much nothing in it. Uh, the top right-hand corner does have some ammo, so grab that if you want. Uh, another treasure chest, you can just pop a potion and the ammo in. And again, make a save if you so wish. Otherwise, we're heading straight up. Ah. Oh. And into another fun room. Now, uh, you don't have to do anything with this. Uh, but it is another puzzle that we're going to be doing very soon. Take the half bottle of potion. Now, this puzzle is very... It's easy enough. Basically, if you just, from here, stick to the right. If you just keep going around the outside, you will make it in one piece. Do not go into the middle pieces. So just stick with the outside, and you'll be fan just fan. So once you've done that, then I did actually die the first time because I accidentally went to the left instead of uh, going out, uh, going around the outside. But once we've got the mirror, uh, there's just a note there, nothing of importance. We can actually just head down. It's a shame that we couldn't go up, but um, apparently that spike would have killed you dead. So unlucky mucker, unlucky mucker. Um, so little Mary, quite con prairie. Sorry, our kid, I know you're having a rough time, but uh, we must leave you in the death house while I try and find my wife. Right, so let's head out to the left again, back out into the cold, pouring rain where all the death monsters are. Another bat coming up. Another crap bat straight in front. There we go. And, of course, we're going to head straight down. Oh, 
Oh boy, more spooky stuff. Right, grab the ammo from the box or the shelf right there. Couple of couple of um, angry teeth babies to, to um, uh, not hurt, of course. <laughs> Uh, but as we continue on to the right, uh, we'll go up now. There is going to be some more babies for us to gently put to sleep. As it were. There we go. You you, you go to sleep there. Um, right, take the ammo. Now, I believe if you are playing on normal mode, there is going to be another monster. In fact, there is going to be another monster here. Um, if you're playing on normal. But take the potion and make sure to take the strange coin again. You have to pick this strange coin up here, otherwise you'll miss it and, you know, you'll have to reload a previous save. So make sure to grab the uh, strange coin before heading all the way to the right. Jeebus on a Buddha, man. I thought we had to fight those uh, things then. But luckily, they're just illusions of our nothingness. Right, more uh, witch from Left 4 Dead crying, so let's get the hell out of here. Head down, head to the left. Ooh, you can screw off, you enemy. And there we go. Spooky, scary, jump scares. Lovely. Can't beat it, can you? Right, since we are back out in the open cold, we're actually going to head down. And we're going to go through this window here, where we're going to find this guy playing the piano. I did like how he just said, uh, you shouldn't play the piano, that's dangerous. Is it any more dangerous than playing the didgeridoo? It is if you're Rolf Harris. <coughs> sorry, sorry, terrible, terrible. Uh, right, so... Uh, basically, what he needs is a pedal, but what we're going to do is head down. Um, there is another creature here if you just want to slap him down, just so he doesn't appear again, which should always be handy. Keep heading to the right and down. We're, we're, we're effectively now just heading for the exit of this area, but we will be back. We will be back. So, straight down again, and again into the master bedroom. Oh, no, this isn't the... Oh, it is the master bedroom. Uh... Uh, straight down again. Sorry, I don't know what I was looking for there on the right. Again, as I said, uh, if you're on normal, you would have had to have dealt with a few enemies there, but we're all good. Uh, this time, we're going to go into the right bedroom, or the right-hand side room. Uh, interact here with the treasure chest again. We're going to get rid of a couple of things. So the mirror will get rid of a couple of the potions, the strange coin, which again, you should now be on five strange coins and four teeth, by the way. So make sure that you've got that in your inventory, and you should be Golden as squarey ball nuggets. Uh, grab some ammo there. And then we can just head down. Just keep heading down. Oh, in fact, no, sorry. Don't do that. We're going for the crack in the wall. Sorry, do apologize. We're going for the crack in the wall. And then we're going straight down. After we grab the potion there from the right. And that's how we get out the other side. So, yeah, effectively, from sort of this point on, for quite a while, we're sort of doing a bit of backtracking here and there. So, um, uh, we're just going up straight through the door here. And then we are going through the third door. And we're just going to go ahead and grab the pedal. This is from our bedroom earlier on. So, then what we're just going to do now, uh, we're effectively now just heading back. So, just follow along, and hopefully you should be fine. So yeah, hopefully that you've gotten, you know, 
especially in the house, hopefully you've gotten used to the sort of way to go and hopefully you can follow along easily. That's why I'll sort of stop talking with those parts um, when we're just sort of backtracking stuff. But make sure to give him the pedal. Now, it is also highly important to interact with the piano again because he gives us the origami piece. So very highly important. Once you've given him the pedal, make sure to pick up the origami and then we can get the hell out of here, man. Uh, and that will set us up for an achievement later on. So, heading down, basically back towards the exit again. So after interacting with old and scary, I suppose, old and ancient, head back into the library area, <laughs> the library area, go through to the right hand side door where we've got our next treasure, uh, other treasure chest and such. This time though, again, like I said, five strange coins, four teeth, you should be on. This time what we're going to do is we're going to be grabbing the mirror, the crown and the skull because we're actually going to open up the library way now. Uh, so make sure again to grab the mirror, the skull, the crown. Again, make a save if you highly suggestively want to. And then if we go up to the statues, we're going to go to, on the left one, put the skull on the old Grim Ripos's face. That'll do him, mate. Second one, put the crown on top of the head where the hole is. That's a hell of a bald head and a hell of a gut. That's me all over. And then the one with the, uh, the face, but the perky little boy bees right there. So... Stick the mirror so she can check out her chunky nip nips. Damn! That is a face and a half, but that's some boobies and a half, man. And then what we're going to do before heading up, we're going to head just straight back down. And as we head to the left, he's not going to bother speaking to us anymore. We're going to head back down. We're actually now uh, going to be effectively getting the C ending. A uh, couple of enemies will still roam the way, but make sure to take the map here. Um, uh, hit this. Mother flubber, this mother pumpkin, and hit this other mother flubbing pumpkin. Now this is now. Remember where we picked up the coin and tossed it in the um, the fountain at the very beginning of the game. Make sure that you've grabbed that strange coin right there. So that's the only way that that appears is if you picked up the coin and then popped it in the fountain at the very beginning of the game. So that should be your sixth strange coin. Uh, otherwise, we can just head up to the left, go left again, and speak to Broski here. And this is actually going to get us the Moth and the Flame achievement. Ta-da! Alright, mate, a nice nighty joy. Right, head down. And then continue heading down. And we're going to head for the exit. But what we're actually going to be doing before we head to the exit, again, we're going to do a little bit of back and forth. So first of all, go to the left. And when you see a woman, we are going to speak to her. Uh, and you'll get the There is Freedom in Awakening achievement. Awakening achievement for finding Lily at the Grow Hill exit. Oh, I'm going to think about my decision. Here's my decision. <sniffs> oh, I stuck my two fingers up to her then. Sorry, you obviously can't see. Right, um, head to the right, all the way to the right, after we get the achievement there. 
and just by this tree trunk is going to be a half bottle of potion so what we can do now is actually head up and then continue heading up and uh, basically now until we hit the library we're going to make a save very important save we're going to make uh, to get the c ending and then we'll just reload and crack on from there row, 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 row. So again, hopefully you have made that same save that I have in whatever slot that you want. Now, all you're going to do is just continue to keep heading to the left. Head to the left, head to the left until you get out. And you will unlock the cowardice achievement. Hey, I'm not a coward. I'm just a... I'm just a robot. Ah, man, you coward, are you son of a... Ah, god damn it. Anyway, once that is done, we can reload our last save, which again, hopefully, should be just uh, back in our library section. I'm going to stop calling that a library now. It's starting to annoy me, actually. Uh, back in the library section there with the C ending. So that'll do. Make sure to pop your ink thing back in. We don't need that anymore. Now we can start uh, progressing forward with the library section. So there's going to be a, uh, obviously another bunch of monsters on this run. So as soon as we enter here, um, there's a couple of notes there. That's pretty much the only thing in this room for now. Uh, just in case you wanted to know a couple of codes. Go to the right, get your axe ready. There is going to be the ton dude. So me stupidly gets in his way twice and also it let him claw me to almost death. Thank you, you bald son of a monkey gun. Uh, that's why we always keep an extra potion on us, just in case. So give that a little downy down downs and num nums. Now head up. There's going to be another monster right here, another claw dude. So again, just dodge out of the way of his fat licky tongue. Right, once he is dead, we're not actually going to head up here yet. Uh, I do apologize. Sorry, we're actually going to be heading down. There's a door uh, where we just killed the last enemy on the left. So that's the one we're going to go through first. Got to scout ahead, you know. Uh, and then from here, there's going to be a new monster. He's just basically going to be sick. So let him get in front of you when he starts burping and barfing. That's a hell of a burp as well. Uh, two hits should do it, but of course, try to not get into the green stuff. Grab the bottle of potion, and then go through the next doors on the up. And again, there's going to be another bath monster here. Another spooey spoo bag. This is basically what everyone looks like after a night out the next morning. Somehow, they, we all go from being absolute tens to absolute, you know, hungover bath monsters like that. Fit. Uh, so once you've killed him, uh, or her... Or it, of course, head up, and you're going to see this guy. We basically need... There's basically two guys here that we're going to help out. This guy, which we need some uh, blood ink for, and a magician. So, I mean, he could just move and get it himself, the lazy douche. But there we go. 
That's what we're here for, right? We're not trying to find our wife. We're trying to help other people. Tidy. Right, uh, head back down anyway. Back through the exit. And let us continue. So, let us head back. Uh, we're going to go to the right, actually, through the next door uh, on the right. And as we can see, on our right, there's a little piece of paper, which will, you know, if you wanted to mess around with that, that's fine. Strange coin in here, though, in the bottom left corner. So make sure to take the strange coin, as well as the ammunition as well. So that should be the next strange coin that we've got. Right, heading up, make sure to kill the old Tom monster. Ouch. That hurt, you son of a git. Uh, there's also a half bottle of potion, so if you did just get smashed up there, you can always grab a bottle of potion. So hopefully you haven't used too many, um, and you've still got a lot of spare in your treasure chest. Well, bang tiny, mate. So head down to the right, um, through the next door here. And oh my god, now this guy is going to give us his eyes, which, I mean... It's, I, what the flub am I supposed to do with them? Jesus Christ, they're not like Pringles, they? Eh? Not like prawn cocktail Pringles or anything. Anything. Uh, anyway, grab the ammunition after you've spoken with that weird eye-gouging dude. And head up to the right. And this is the last bit. Well, it's not really the last bit. <laughs> we've still got plenty left to do here. But an hour left now of the game. So, you know, getting through it. So, kill me on a good day, Blob Monster. And the second one here. Those ones are tricky because <laughs> you think you're not, you think you're far away from them, but they're not. Uh, what you need to do is push this wardrobe sort of in between the middle of these two weird statue monsters. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, so basically, as soon as you hear a big, uh, what sounds like a trap door opening, that's when you know you've done it right. Uh, now, there's going to be another stupid lick-a-tongue creature right here, plus a bath monster coming up um, from below you. So, kill this dude quick, and then below you, there he is. So, that's everyone going from a 10 out of 10 to <laughs> absolutely dying in the morning. Right, so now that those two are done, they're not going to come back, which is nice. We're going to go to the right door down, grab the ammo. And on the right-hand side is just a note there, so that's chilling, so that's all we need from this particular room. Uh, from here, we can go down and straight down through the next set of doors. Uh, grab the Ouroboros key. Ouroboros. And take the ammo as well. Have a look at the painting if you want. Well, that's nice. Uh, that's nice. Uh, so now we've got the Ouroboros key. Ouroboros. Uh, head up. Go to the left. Go down. Sort of the down that key. Yep. Um, and we've got another treasure chest. We've also got uh, the, the save slot as well. So if you want to do a bit of saving, we are obviously going to be getting rid of a few things here. Just the, in fact, we're going to keep the potion, but we are going to get rid of the Ouroboros key, the ammo and the strange, uh, strange coin. And then from here, we're going to go to the right and go to the top right door this time. And straight down, boy. Now, there's going to be another bath monster here to the left, so slice him up uh, after you grab the ammo off the bench, of course. Congrats on killing another harmless soul, you evil monster, you. Right, on here, there's going to be a couple of bats plus one of those lickitung monsters, so... Not monsters, sorry, monsters. Whoops. Uh, so one, they're going to come from everywhere. One's going to come from behind you, from the left of you, from down below. Uh, there's the licky tongue monster. Monster, sorry. Oh, it's getting really late here in the old U of K. we get into this room then we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up a bit of a cleanup section as it were before we interact with the mirror at the top so head left to this door where there is another treasure chest and another save slot 
Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put in one potion, get rid of the ammo. We're also going to put in the um, uh, ink. We're obviously going to make, oh, well, I am going to make another safe here, just to be on the old safe side. So let's go ahead and do that. Next up, we're going to grab, after you've saved it, we're going to put the Ouroboros key in. Ouroboros. And then we're going to head the hell out of there. We're going to start nipping through some Ouroboros rooms before, as I said, before heading through the mirror at the top there. Now, before cracking on, head up. And just behind this bookcase is another half a bottle of potion. And now, just simply follow the path. Again, by now we should have killed most of the enemies. So the path should be nice and clear for you to just follow along. By the way, that trapdoor noise will make you crap your pants every time because you'll forget about it as I did every single time. So after what seems like a bit of a long slog there, um, here's the first Ouroboros key door. So let's get our Ouroboros in. Now there is going to be a monster just up ahead, but we're going to go through the first door. I believe on normal, I think there is a monster straight away you have to kill. Um, so um, yeah, right. So code anyway for this one is 1142. So that's 1142. And then we can take the wooden sword. This is very important. So grab the ammo on the left. 1142 for the wooden sword. Now go to the third door. And you're going to have a, a conversation here. After grabbing the info, the ammo with the old magician. Whose name is Steve. We'll say. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> If you're a magician, man, just magician yourself away. Jesus Christ, do we have to do everything around here? Apparently we do. So anyway, for, for now, again, we're doing a bit of back forth tracking. So follow the path once more. Well, after we get into this room anyway. So as we get into this room, head to the left and on the door of the very left hand side door before heading up, go in between these pictures and there's a hidden switch in the wall. When you see the eye icon, press that and then head all the way back. Oh, in fact, no, we're not heading all the way back. We're going through the next Ouroboros door. Sorry. So switch Ouroboros door, dead body hanging, dripping. That seems quite unfortunate. I'd say it's pretty unfortunate. Make sure to take the inkwell of blood here. Very important for the uh, writer guy. So make sure to take the inkwell of blood. And then we can simply follow the path. Lovely. Having a bit of breather from not killing anything. 
So I do apologize, I get a little bit confused here, but basically all we're getting rid of, uh, what we need is obviously the three on the top, the Ottobotobotos key, the sword, and the uh, just one potion. So get rid of the inkwell blood, the ammo, and one of the half potions. So when we're back in the main foyer here, go all the way to the top right hand side door. We're going to be getting a more powerful weapon than the axe now. So head uh, all the way to the right hand side. You can kill the creature there if you want or not. Um, obviously head up. Head up. Grab the sword, but very importantly, if you don't want to die, make sure to go into your inventory and grab the wooden sword. Uh, or you could, well, let's move the sword first. Uh, put it into our Y hotspot. Then make sure to put the wooden sword uh, down so that we can head down and simply not die from spikes, which again is a mega, mega handy thing. Uh, now the sword is again a little bit even better than the axe, so we're upgrading our stuff now. Um, so we just got into this room just for a sec, just to uh, remove the axe uh, and the Ouroboros key. We don't actually need the Ouroboros key anymore, um, but we are going to pop in the... Uh, Mask of Sadness, or whatever that's called. And we're just going to go ahead and get rid of the axe. We don't need that anymore. So don't be such an axe hole. Yeah, see what I've done there? Puns. <laughs> I'm full of puns. I'm a punny man. Uh, oh, so I wish. Um, right, you could try and get past this creature, but he attacked me pretty quickly. Uh, again, you'll have to do the hop, skipping, limping jump for now. Basically, like when babies try walking for the first time, uh, head up and just go through the gate, through the garden. And we're going to ignore old Mario plant head and purple plant head as well. Now, um, from this point, so basically, uh, we can now give the mask the statue to get the blunderbuss gun. From here, what you can do is a few steps to go down to a well, um, grab a few items, and also fight an optional boss. Now, that boss is only optional if... Uh, and he'll only spawn if you're playing on normal. So if you end up going down this well, grabbing the rope, going down this well, um, on easy, the this uh, optional but boss doesn't spawn. And it doesn't matter because it literally doesn't matter for any endings. You don't have to kill him for any endings. You don't have to kill him for any uh, story-related progression. So that's literally just a case of if you're playing on normal and you fancy killing a, a very easy boss. Otherwise, we're not going to bother, especially on easy because he doesn't spawn. So, once you've done that, we're going to head down. Uh, get out of there and head down. And once again, we're just going to avoid all the enemies if we can. If you can't, then, you know, fight your way out. Uh, you know, we're effectively almost two hours into the game now, getting there. So, pretty sure you figured out how to do the combat by now. At least I'm hoping so. If not, then I'll uh, just get someone else to do it, eh? Um... <laughs> Right, so we've got a couple of items here. Sorry, what I was trying to do there was go to the left and down. I got a little bit confused there, sorry. So we're back in the main foyer. So have a little slice around, follow the old path. Or what was it? I say follow the path, I mean follow where I go. Right, let's whack out a couple of achievements here. So, through the left-hand side, Ouroboros door. Um, Ouroboros. Go to the left and go into the room where the magician was. And as you can see, he's disappeared. So, magically, he found his own way out. Like I knew he would. Stupid Rick Vicio, or whatever the hell your name is. Ricusio. But that will get us the true magic doesn't exist achievement anyway. So, you know, we can take some comfort in that one. Uh, now what we're going to do is go and get the Blood Rush achievement for giving the writer his ink. So again, uh, for the time being then, just follow uh, exactly what I do. 
Obviously, make sure to get the Blood Well of Ink. Uh, we can move a potion and the gun in as well. So make sure to get the Blood Well Ink, or whatever it's called. Um, and again, if you want to make a save, of course, be... <laughs> don't worry. Be crappy and happy. Uh, pop that ink away. Just remember that it, uh, it's got to be the ink with the blood in it. Then just follow along with what I do until we get to the writer's room to get that achievement. So by the looks of things then, uh, Guy, we've got our achievement, Guy's got his ink, but I think he wrote too much and then his son probably, well, well, you know, succumbed to starvation by the looks of things. Anyway, now that we have done those achievements, what we're going to do, once again, if you follow the path, we're now going to go through the mirror room and start up a whole new thing. So just having a little double check here, but you have to make sure that you have got seven secret coins and four teeth. As long as you got those two uh, on those numbers, you will be eligible, as it were, to go through the mirror. So just make sure you got the seven strange coins, the four teeth. If you have, we can get straight through the mirror, the, the, the mirror, the mirror, and grab the the other side of the mirror, the other side of the mirror achievement. So it's all changed and we've got new enemies and stuff to kill. So first of all, let us grab the potion there from the deadness of the bodiness. Uh, and we'll just pop that aside for now because we are going to need some items. Head to the left, uh, top left and go through the door. And we're going to immediately start getting into some spider creatures. Luckily though, the sword should be able to take care of these tiny spider things with one hit. Uh, head to the right, gonna be another spider enemy. Or, uh, no, sorry, they're going to be teeth enemy now. So as soon as you start heading up, they're quite quick, so just be alert. There they go. And they do pack a punch as well, as you can see. Slicing me down. Head to the left, and another teeth crawly freaky enemy. Man, if you're scared of spiders, imagine seeing one of those just on your floor chilling when you wake up in the middle of the night. Flub that. Uh, right. This enemy then, he just basically gets up and starts swinging at you, but two hits for him and he is downer than a dodo. He is deader than a dodo down dodo, whatever. Uh, head all the way to the left and down, there's going to be another tongue flicking enemy. Ow! Man, I thought you tonguing me was supposed to be clever, but uh, nice. But anyway, from here, there we go. We've taken the tooth, so that is now another tooth, the fifth tooth now, I believe. Uh, but I just drink a potion there because I just got tongued and not in a nice way. Uh, so yeah, just make sure to grab the tooth and then we can head straight up. Uh, and the only thing really in this room is on the left hand side is some ammo and there's a note directly in front of us if you want to read that. If you have been reading that. 
go past the ominous looking statue thing and through to the next big door. And uh, right, so this room, basically there's four of these uh, gooey blob things that we're going to kill. If I can get bloody close enough, there we go. Uh, there's just one in each corner. And then all you're going to be doing is moving these statues onto specific... Uh, onto the specific uh, stone plates. So literally, as soon as you kill these four, just follow along with what I push and where I push it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your nan. So this is the last bit then, and then that whole blood thing will start happening. By the way, not. Uh, by the way, Fanny was an obviously old name. That's uh, you don't see many Fanny names anymore. But I, I do apologise if I made you think of your uh, nan's. Uh, never mind. So grab the meat key and take the half bottle of potion here as well. After you've done that, uh, for some reason Victor here decided that his arms were quite scrawny. Couldn't push them. Stone statues very good. Uh, so once you got the meat key and the ammo, we're going to head to the right once we exit. I uh, don't think there's any more. I think we've sliced all the enemies here now. Uh, so we're just heading for the exit of this place, actually. Bang, toity, mate. Right, so now we can head through the bottom right-hand gate, which we couldn't before because we need the key. The, the meat key, which I tell you, that wouldn't be good because I would be chewing on that right now. Uh, so move the tooth in. So again, you should have seven strange coins and five teeth. Uh, so hopefully you are on exactly the same as me. And with that, we can just move on. Right then, lots of stuff. You can obviously pop your lamp on if you want. Um, but this is basically just a bit of a cutscene, but with an important action that we have to do in a moment. So this next part is very important then. We need to kill this. He's not going to put up a fight. He's asking you to kill him. But to get the A ending, we specifically need to kill this monstrosity. So one slice will do it. Kill him. And that should uh, get you golden for the A ending later on. So again, there are a couple of uh, a couple of requests, a couple of things that we have to do in order to get the AI item in terms of specific dialogue and the killing of that monstrosity right there. Uh, so potion yourself up and get going. Keep heading to the right, down, right. And of course, there's going to be a few monsters in just a little bit. There's one old spider licky tongue tongue. Aha, killed you before you tongued me. Not in the good way again. Damn it. So down, right, another spider monster. Aha! Screw you! Hey, screw you! And from here then, we're actually going to be going up. 
So don't go down because there's nothing here to go down with. I mean, there's a, a, a gate, but we're not needing to go there yet. So we're heading up and to the right. Oh, sorry. Basically straight up, <laughs> more or less. Sorry, uh, we're going to be going to the right now. Sure, yeah. How's your life? Uh, from here, just keep heading right, by the way. And then we're going to head up. And as you can hear, you can probably hear, there is Licky Tongue Spider. Job done. Right, so just keep going up through the gates. And um, we're going to be getting another achievement in just a, a little bit. So once you grab this new po uh, this potion, if you're playing on easy, you will encounter this enemy for the first time. It's a weird clicking thing that shoots flies at you. So as soon as you hear the fly noises, give them a whack because they can't hurt. Just go straight over and he will try to claw you. So obviously just do the hit and dodge. And then the genital wart on his back will disappear and job done. Ogle gego, blah, blah, blah. Sounds good, mate. Right, take some ammo. And uh, we can just continue forward. Damn it, I must find a way. Father! So, into the crypt here on the right, and speak with little Mary Mary. So I do apologize there about the confusion, but we need the origami piece, the shovel. Uh, and on the very left-hand side here, make sure to pick up the moon medallion. It's just shining on the box right there. Uh, so make sure to pick that one up. Pop that in your treasure chest. And then what we're actually going to do is put the um, shovel into the B slot. So you don't need a lamp for now. So we can just, as long as you have the origami piece, obviously the potion, the sword, and the shovel. Uh, again, if you want to make a save, of course, uh, as I always say, be my chicken breast, be my guest. Uh, otherwise, we're all good, but we are going to be getting an achievement soon. A uh, few monsters, of course, that are going to be on the way as soon as we get inside here. Uh, I think there's a lick of tongue somewhere. Uh, but anyway, head up, and you're going to see this bit of am ammunition here, so grab that. Uh, head to the left and go up. And then what we're going to do, just behind... Well, actually, we're going to go into this little crypt first. Um, and on the left-hand side here is the musket hammer. Um, now, earlier on, we were supposed to get a... Oh, by the way, there's these new enemies as well. They're just ghosts that try to claw you. So if you wanted to use the musket, you had to get an, a third piece, which we didn't bother getting because I never use it. We don't use it through the game, so it's fine. So interact here with the sort of grave. Uh, put the origami piece on it. Butterfly will go nuts. And that is what will get us the Moon Cloudiness Sonata by Dan Loop achievement. Hell of a name. Hell of a name. So once that achievement's unlocked, we can just continue to head up. Go to the left. And then right by this uh, statue with the graveyard, what we're going to do, we're going to press the B button to whip out our shovel. And we're going to shovel around. Shovel around town. Shovel around town, and that'll get us the next moon medallion. There are four we need, and there's two we've got already. So we can head to the right. There's going to be another ghost. Flory ghost thing coming up soon, right after this uh, tonguey tongue tongue man. Uh, there he is. So we'll just slice him down. Uh, excuse me, sir. I would like to slice you up like peanuts. Peanuts, I just said. 
uh, like ham slicer and kebab slicer. Mm. Kebab slicer. Uh, right, so from here, we can go inside this little crypt anyway. And on the right-hand side is just some ammunition. Not a lot else going on in here, apart from the strange coin as well. <laughs> so apparently, there's the ammunition and the strange coin. So make sure to pick up that other strange coin. So as it turns out, there was quite a bit going on there. Uh, head to the right, uh, grab the wedding ring. That pretty much serves no purpose. But then go to the statue here with the cross grave. Use the shovel, and that'll be the third moon medallion that we uh, that we need for the story progression. Um, head down. In fact, what we could do, we're actually just going to head down, left, and down again just to go to the exit. But if you've taken the path that I have, there's going to be another ghost glory boy to destroy. <laughs> Once we get here then, what we're going to do, um, we're just going to get rid of a few of the items, pretty much everything apart from the two moon medallions. And make sure to grab the third moon medallion with you. Also, while you're here, make sure to put the lamp back in the B section. We don't need a shovel anymore either. So grab the next moon medallion and make sure to put the lamp back in your B hotspot. Uh, as you can see, I failed to do that. So once, I've, once we've done everything that we're going to do now, I've just got to come back and grab the lamp. So... Fantastically idiotic there from me. Um, so into a new area again, and of course, it is time for more death slicing. So let's head up. More death slicing. Uh, go to the right, and then go to the up. And eventually we are going to see, I believe, maybe on, I think maybe on normal mode, there's a couple of ghosts there. But anyway, uh, you can pick up the green tea. That literally serves no purpose. Um, on the right there is the bottle of potion. And what we need to do then is head to the left. There is the licky spider walkie thing if you want to kill that. Which we're going to have to. Ow! You son of a... Anyway, by this statue and this next cross graveyard is the final moon medallion that we need. So there we go. Sorted. You can sell them for a quick buck if you ever get out of here. Which, I mean, would be easy. Uh, then we can just head down, and then keep heading down. Since we've got everything now, the moon medallions, we're all good. Head to the left, we're going to go... Now, like I said, well, if you've got the lamp, we can now go in here, uh, speak to Mary. Now, again, to get the achievement, and again, the A ending later on, we have to choose a specific option here, and that is yes. So make sure to choose the yes dialogue option. That will get us the little Mary achievement. Ta-da! And as I said, that's another requirement needed in order to get the A ending later on. In fact, we're not too far away now. So, with the full moon, put it over to the left. With the no moon, put it to the right. With the sort of half moon on the right, put it to the top. And with the half moon on the left, put it to the bottom. Now, there is no way that you can get past... I mean, there is probably a way you can get past this next section without a lamp. But trust me, it's just easier if you go back and um, grab a lamp. Because as you can see, it's good, but it's not quite Tetley's. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So obviously, if you were able to grab the lamp, you can just head forward, go to the right, and carry on. But yeah, if you've already done that, just pause the game and wait for stupid bong boy right here to grab the, um, <laughs> to grab the lamp.
Okay, maybe I've been a little bit harsh on myself. I'm not too bad. Uh, I'm not that idiotic yet. Anyway, now that we can see more, that's great. Again, on normal mode, you would have a uh, one of those big enemies to fight. But since we don't, on easy mode, head to the right, go straight through the door. Uh, head to the left. Now, there's going to be a couple of uh, bloopy glob globs. Ah, excuse me, just had a little sip of the old water. You see, my Wii was green, so I need to drink some water, make it a bit clearer. No, I'm just joking, it's not green, that's uh, uranium, right? Uh, so as we head outside, we're just grabbing a potion, that's all. Uh, but then we can just head back inside. Obviously go to the right. And then go to the up. And then we're going to go to the right again. There is a monster here, whoa, licky boy. Licky spider boy, so be careful of that one. Uh, heading up to the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time up. Two hops this time. Uh, go to the left. Go to the down. Go to the left. And what we're going to find is, first of all, some ammunition. But most importantly, and we need to do this now because we won't be able to get it later on, is the, the final tooth. So, you should now be on six out of six teeth. And we are getting there. Getting there closer to the end now. So, congratulations. Otherwise, we're going to continue heading up. Uh, don't worry about going through that gate there. Because we're going to go through this section. <laughs> Grande. Now, all this section is then is basically when you see, um, not this piece of green slug, but this part, don't go all the way because there's a big giant slug. What he's going to do is basically just keep going left and right. Sometimes you just come with the right, sometimes you come with the left. So you just got to be careful. That's all. Just a time in section. That's all it is. No slug can stop a man with long hair, or no hair, or barely any hair. So, head up, there is going to be another enemy, which is why I've just slapped my sword out. There he is, old spider licky lick. And tidy. Again, I think if you're playing on normal mode, I believe there's another uh, big enemy here to kill, so watch out for that. Um, as we head up, though, there is a ghost. So, and again, obviously, because when it gets dark, it can be kind of hard to see. But slice the old ghost and head into the door here. Oops. Sorry. We'll try that one again. We are heading into the door, so don't worry about that. Uh, there's ammunition here. Plus, uh, as we head down, right by this cross, there is another strange coin. So right by this cross at the bottom, make sure to grab the strange coin before heading back up. And out of here! Right, head straight back up. We can turn the lamp on now. I think it's going to be safe. And just like that, we are going to be coming up to the final boss fight ever so soon, and we are going to be grabbing the three endings. So as long as you've done everything that um, I've told you to do, and you've grabbed everything that you can, uh, and that you're supposed to, and the, the specific dialogue options, and killing that big thing out from earlier on, then you should be absolutely squared away to crack on with it. So, uh, so yeah, this is the final, effectively the final part, but we have to fight this final boss twice, but trust me, he is very easy enough. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and speak to El Vicaroni, the absolute nutball. Uh, just like all priests. I mean, not as... <laughs> I say not as bad as the Dalai Lama, uh, with the old asking a young boy to suck his tongue. But, uh, you know, priests are pretty close, aren't they? Oh, oh, oh controversial. Oh. 
Right, before drinking the blood goblet thing on the table, do not do that. We're going to head back down to where we came from. So go to the right and back down. We are going to make a save because this is basically the final uh, point where we can save in the game. So this is, of course, a very highly important one. Um, so yes, because if you had drunken the goblet of fire thing, you would have basically beaten the final, but that, that's what takes you to the final boss. You would have probably beaten him. And, um, yeah, you'd then have to reload your last save, which wouldn't be this point. So you need to get the gun. Um, if you manage to get the musket fixed, use the musket. But honestly, if you're playing on easy mode, the blunderbuss here is just as effective. Um, but we're going to grab a couple of potions here. We're going to grab some ammo, of course, as well. And obviously the inks, we can make a save. Otherwise, I think that's pretty effectively all done. But again, as you can see there, you should now be on nine strange coins and six teeth. You should, that is exactly what you should have. And as long as you got that, we are squared away. So for the final time then, let us make a save, the final save of the game. And then what you're going to do is head all the way back up to where the priest is. Uh, ignoring the Dalai Lama, sucking boys' tongues and stuff. Gross. Uh, very weird. What the hell was he thinking? And, uh, yeah. A little bit of a cutscene, and then we begin. So, the boss is going to start chasing you, but all we have to do, you see these body corpses? We don't have, we just have to slice them up. Ignore, completely ignore the boss. Just try and dodge him when you can. Uh, so head up to this first one. This first one will always be here, but the rest are going to be in a random order. So, well, there's the second one there. That, that went well. Um, but yeah, so the rest are going to be in a completely random order. So what you need to do is just keep going uh, to the top left, the bottom left, the top right, and the bottom right, and seeing where the next body is hanging down, and just slice him. So that is just a boss fight. What you need to do is just fight, find and kill, uh, well, slice all of these bodies until all of the blood goes down there. Again, completely ignoring the boss. Um, if he gets close, of course, he will try and hit you with his tentacle whatevers, um, like that. So what you can do is just dodge him, and you should be fairly safe. Um, and of course, when the screen starts getting dark, just do a little bit of limping and everything. But that is all there is to it with this boss. So all you're doing is basically avoiding the dude. Um, but again, as I said, these bodies hang down in a completely random order. So once you've got the two down and this bit is fully red, obviously you you know then that um, you've completed that. So the top two there, I don't need to worry about. Uh, so that's all you're doing. Go ahead, find the eight bodies and that will destroy the boss. Of sorts.
Right, so once we uh, hit this last corpse, the boss will just fall down, okay? So the boss will fall down. Now, for the B ending, we're going to just leave him alone, okay? So head up through this middle gate here, watch the cutscene, and that is the B ending complete for not killing the boss. So you've just sort of stunned him. So as long as you haven't killed him, you will get the B ending, which is the ritual ending, plus the ritual achievement. Oh, and there it is. Look at that. Rare achievements popping in a popty ting and a popty ping. Popty ping. I think I, that, that's Welsh from Microwave, right? Ha! Look at me knowing Welsh. You'd think I'd know more, but no. So, how was the boss fight for you? Good? Grand? Would you like to do it again? Well, in order to get the A ending right now, you're going to have to. Um, but no, I mean, you know, I'm saying it's easy enough. I do hope that it's easy enough for you as well and that you're sort of dodging, you know, you were dodging him you know, relatively easy. Uh, but this time, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing again, only this time we're going to actually kill the boss at the end in order to get the A ending for redemption. So once again, as I said, once we start here, you're going to need to cut the first corpse, uh, hanging corpse, which again will always be in the same place. And then it's just a case of the rest of them are going to be in random positions. So dodge the boss, slice the corpses, kill the boss at the end. Job done.
So hopefully you've got your shooting skills ready. Now I do take a couple of swipes at him here, but he will awaken again. So move away as soon as he does. Or don't, as in the case of me. Uh, now just shoot him now until he is completely dead. And that is, ha and then just go through up uh, where we were earlier on. And then that will be the A ending for Redemption. And then there's just one more ending left to unlock. But this is the final time then that you have to fight this boss. Um, so effectively now, so for the for the S ending, we have to go and find a couple of gear fragments. So you do have to fight a few more enemies, um, but it's only going to take around sort of 10 minutes or so to do. Not bad. Well, I suppose it does uh, beg the question, doesn't it? Would you sacrifice yourself in order to save someone you love? Or would you rather think, well, you, you had a nice life, but I need to keep on living? Hey, no judgments here. No judgments. You can tell me. Just let me know in the comments section below. I'm not going to show any of your partners or anything like that. Don't worry. Uh, I mean, YouTube is a public forum still, but, you know, hopefully... I say hopefully they don't watch my videos. I'd like, I'd like everyone to watch my videos, but... Anyway, rambling on, now let us get the S ending. So we got rid of a few potions here. We're going to get the lamp back in our inventory. Um, we don't need the gun anymore. So as I said, uh, as for, in terms of boss fights, we're done. No more boss fights, but we do have just a couple of enemies that we need to get rid of because we have to get some gear fragmentios. Right, so from here then, once you've sorted that out and you've got your, gun, uh, your lamp back, we're going to head down. And then we're going to head to the right here, and this is where we're going to get our first gear fragment. So basically, we get them by finding these big, massive monster things, which we've already killed. Uh, so once that, uh, of, of course, make sure to pick up said fragments after every big thing that we see. And then from here, so that's uh, one out of four already then. So we are also going to be grabbing the final strange coin as well, which is needed for this ending. Now, there are going to be, like I said, a whole bunch of enemies, so... It's a case of, you can either just kill them um, as we keep going down, or you can just try and dodge them and avoid them. Uh, but they might catch up to you, so, you know, be aware. Whatever. So, head to the left, past the old mushroom joint, past the old pumpkin mushroom, and the old Mario plants, and the old big snail thing. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Keep heading to the left, and then go down. And then from here, what we're actually going to do is... Now, I, tr I tried sneaking through the trees here, but that kind of didn't work because all the enemies still see me. So, um, yeah. So you need to go this way. Um, and then eventually, everyone can just see me and I'm just being incredibly stupid. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. tried something, it didn't work. Everything's still after me. So anyway, we just need to head all the way over to the right in order to grab the... Well, uh, final secret coin. But since all the enemies followed me, when we do get all the way to the right, they're all, I'm going to have to do a little bit of fighting. So it may be the case for you too, or you may have got away with it.
<laughs> Go away, you've had enough of fighting things now. Right, so remember then, before we leave this, this is where the final, final strange coin is. Oh, God, you have it. get away. Eeh. Eeh. There we go, thank you. So now you should be on 10 out of 10 strange coins. So now, woohoo, let's go and grab those last few. Fra oh, God. That's what you look like. You look stupid. I, d I don't even know what that power is supposed to be. Anyway, as I was saying, woohoo, let's go and grab those last couple of gear fragments. So again, just follow where I'm going for now. where I'm going is down. So, down. Uh, now, we are going to have to fight another couple of enemies, including this snail thing right here. So, just slap Broski out the way, and then what you can do, um, you can shoot snail thing here first, and then wait until she comes out, and then just slice her down like a Charlie Brown. So what we're doing from here then is basically just going to the left. We're going to head down. Remember where we seen the one woman earlier on? Head down. Here is the main statue. Uh, keep going to the left. Some things will try to attack you. I thought I'd kill this bro and then the old Mario plants decided to uh, want to go as well. And for some reason I'm swinging in the opposite direction, literally killing thin air. That's no good. The eco-activists would be fuming with that one. Right, so here is the next thing that we killed, I assume, and that is the next gear fragment. So from here, we can just head basically back up and through the next set of doors. So back in the library section for the last time, as we head up, we're going to head up once again, or effectively left and up, sorry. And then to the right of us is where the next gear fragment is. So this guy was the other thing that we killed. Uh, so make sure to grab the third gear fragment. Now, we're almost there. Um, I don't, I think that's it now for enemies. Uh, in fact, yes, that's it for enemies. We don't, um, we've, we've killed everyone that we have in this place. So it's literally just a case of following the path once more. And following the path once more. Why can we just have a fast travel system? I don't know. Because um, this has taken a long time. But also, this is my favorite one of the monsters. It's... Guess who it is? Ah, oh, that's right, buddy. It's the booby monster! There it is. Look at that. Look at that. A face only a mother could love. But a boob... Well, a set of boobs everyone could love. Um. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm so sorry. So, uh, well, we can't pick up the fragment yet. So what we need to do, we can actually combine the two uh, gears. So the one in the middle there and the one, there you go. So now we can pick up that next gear and then we can combine the second set of gears. Apart from I'm getting extremely confused about nothing right now. Uh, so go ahead, combine the next set of gears and then, <laughs> well, this is it. We've got the coins, we've got the teeth and we now have all, and we basically have now the two gears. They are, are what's specifically needed for the S ending, which is why I was so vocal about picking up everything up uh, as we were going through the playthrough. Uh, so again, we're just going to head to the elevator now, and that's basically going to be the end of the game. So, crackalag in darlings.
A uh, bit of fast travel again would have gone well there. Victor must be knackered, mate. Absolutely wrecked. Right, so you need to put the, um, not this particular gear, but the right-hand side one, the triangle one in the left one, and then the next one in the next one to the right of it. And then ride, ride, ride the elevator down before you get hit in brown town. And this is it, boys and girls. We are done. Just go ahead, follow the blood trail. Cutscenes go into play. And then after all the credits and everything have unlocked, this is where we will get the sacrifice achievement for unlocking the S ending, sacrifice. And then you'll get the final achievement called Lamentum for completing the game Lamentum. Ta-da! And that was Lamentum. So, oh, nice devil. I don't know what devil's ripped, bro. I am jealous. So that's the end of Victor, deader than a dead thing on Dead Dead's Day. But there we go, that is Lamentum. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I will leave it here. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the game um, and the guide. If the guide helped, please let me know if the guide helped um, and if it needed any, any improvements or anything like that. But I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you watching the guide, so thank you so, so much for watching. A big massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and all of my YouTube members as well. Absolutely fantastic. You guys and gals are absolute legends. Um, and that'll be it. That should now be 19 out of 19, as I'll see in a moment. And fantastic. So well done. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.